Here's a quick shot of how everything would look before we started building awesomeness. Take a good look. Take a good, good look because things are really going to change around here. Hashtag build awesomeness. I'm just going to take a moment to say how excited I am about this. This is going to be so awesome. Might even bring Weston out of the office. I, we might. We might. DJ and I were just looking at this this morning. We were like, so we have a patio down here, and we're building a new patio that's like 18 inches above that patio. And we're like, where do we build Pond Hike? Flush with this patio or flush with the patio that's down there? And then we were just scratching our heads and we're like, oh, I know why. Let's build it. Pond, water hike, level with the top patio, and then a negative edge out of the pond falling down right in front of that big window. A waterfall is out of the pond. And talked with Derek this morning, talked with the homeowner, called Tussie Mountain Mulch, do we have the product, can we do it? And everything worked out, and in the end, Ben gets to build what Ben wants to build. And I'm so excited about it! Such a spoiler kid. I know, hey. Get what he wants. Like, I just want to build what I want. He just make it work. This is really what's going on right now. Right now I'm fearing for my life because DJ is going to start throwing aqua blocks at me mm -hmm. like they're fastballs. Because the last time someone broke my nose mm. and tore half my thumb off. Hard to find good help. So now it's my turn so to So what we got in. going on here is a great. So this is the basin for our negative edge falls. So the pond's gonna go up in here, it's gonna fill up, it's gonna spill out a nice waterfall pointed right at those windows down into this basin. Our pumps are gonna sit down here, they're gonna pump it up there, and it's just gonna be cycling. So we got a big hole down here, and we're gonna start filling it in with aqua blocks. 34 of them, right? Yeah, I okay. need the pond bolts in this corner. Can I have them, please? No, you can start from that corner. Stop saying rude things. I want them right now. He's difficult to work with. When we start to dig this in, there's lots of groundwater, they're running downspouts here, and the potential for water to get underneath this liner is pretty high. So we over excavated, we put in five inches of clean stone, and on the outside of the liner, I'm gonna stick in an eight inch pipe so that if water builds up underneath there, you can drop a sump pump down there and pump it out from underneath the liner. That way, you don't have all that water pushing from the outside of the liner. So that's one of the cool things that we have going on with this thing. To prevent problems in the future. DJ, what's it like working with me? Like working with a toddler. Like a, like a toddler? Yeah. Like a little kid. This is so cool. I'm gonna have water coming everywhere. I still need to put in something to bring it up or over against this boulder at about this height. And I still need to get a little rock into here. And then we're gonna have water coming in here, 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 deep pool, water coming over here, water coming over here, another deep pool, water way pointed that way, right in there. Oh my goodness! I don't know if I've ever built one with water going in so many different directions. Well, it's like OMG. Still needs to hold out. That could be a little tricky, but that's what, I, that's what I'm shooting for. I'm seeing that this could potentially be a little too high for water to come over here, which would be sad because it would be really cool if water came over here. We'll see. I can still hammer and chisel that down a little bit if I need to. Grinder. Grinder. Paver saw. Paver saw. But yeah, that's what I'm shooting for. This is my favorite rock in the whole wide world to build with. Stop rolling your eyes, DJ. It is. You'll have to admit this is awesome stuff. Yeah, you just say it every every build. I don't say it every build. Yes, like you do. when I'm building with Semcos, I don't say that because we never build line. with Semcos. That's the problem. We just did. Um, Matt did one, but we never did. Yeah. Anyway, that All there, right. folks, is the negative edge of our pond. Yes, yes, that's where the pond's gonna empty out. That's the skimmer box. Yes. Of the pond. Look 
a little bit of pond paint yardage going up here. What is it, 20 by 20? Good morning, folks. What's up, everybody? We have a beautiful morning up here in Port Matilda, and it looks like the whole week is gonna be gorgeous, and I am so excited to start building on this thing. I literally couldn't think of anything else this weekend. I just went, I almost came up here on Saturday and started setting some boulders. But yeah, I am excited for this week. There's a lot of things gonna happen that are gonna be super fun. So let's flip back some boulders and start setting. We actually, this morning, I, uh, well, Friday evening, I had ended up backfilling all of this. We had over dug for a basin. And I ended up backfilling all of this with fill. We took our jumping jack over it and it just didn't seem very sturdy. It's not pretty sandy clay soil and it didn't compact and all weekend I was thinking that's gonna settle. We're gonna build on top of there and it's gonna settle and yucky things are gonna happen. So I was like, well, I'm gonna come up here this morning and I'm gonna dig it all out, which is what we did. I brought some clean stone in. I'm gonna fill it in with clean stone and then Steve is bringing in some nice uh, screen topsoil for the top 10 inches or so, and I'm gonna run my jumping jack over that. That's good soil that we're gonna be able to compact, and I'll feel a lot better about that, because this really is what determines water, this berm, this dirt berm that we're gonna build here, is really what determines water level in the pond, and it just didn't seem like a very sturdy foundation. So that's what we, why we dug all that out this morning. We're gonna backfill it with some good sturdy stuff, that's going to be a lot more stable of a foundation to build our pond on. Okay, let's bring in some rock. Alrighty folks, let the fun begin. Here's our fresh excavated pond. We got this thick felt in it for protection over liner. We always put this in. It's a little bit thicker stuff on the bigger projects since we have such big rocks. Getting ready to flip back our liner and then let's rock this baby in. Check out the height we're gonna have over here. So the new patio is gonna be right along this edge. We're gonna bring the patio right up to the edge. I'm thinking of setting two big boulders right here and then I have a nice flat rock. It's a little bit higher here on the back and then it dips off. I'm thinking of setting it right here. You'll be able to walk out over the edge of the pond and look straight down. There's going to be about 36 inches of water. And because of the way the rock's shaped, you'll still be able to get your feet in the water without actually falling in. And then if you're a little kid and you want to do cannonball, this would be like your diving board. Super cool. This little spot right here, I want to build a big fish cave out of because she is planning on putting in koi. So that's why I dug this this way. And this shell is kind of a big, shallow shell and it's gonna be perfect to put in a bunch of aquatic plants. And our stream is gonna be coming in over here. And I think that's about all the cool things I've planned so far. As we go, we'll look at rocks and then we'll think of more cool things, right Deej? You got it. One of the things I was thinking about is, what if it would be cool to set right in here at the bottom, a big old rock. It wouldn't come up to the top, it wouldn't come up to water level, but you'd still see it down in there. Once that water clears up. Then go, there goes your cannonballs. Well, if you put it over here, you'd have to do one serious jump to still hit it. Besides, I don't know if they'll be doing many cannonballs in here, but hey. I, 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 I could go with not a massive rock, but medium size. Well, okay, maybe. not massive, but something that you'll see down in there. The fish can hide around it. Maybe. That's something cool. And another thing, oh, we need to bring some stumps and logs tomorrow. Definitely use mm -hmm. some over there. This is kind of like, it's gonna act as our skimmer. So there's only gonna be about two inches of water coming over here. And we'll just do a little bit stream right into here, out of the negative edge. And because it's only gonna be so deep at about, oh, I don't know, two and a half, three foot wide, 
it's going to skim the surface of the pond out over here. It's going to be some fast moving water. I thought about setting a rock in, in here, the middle, but I'm scared it'll bring my water level up. Might not bring your water level up, but it'll catch any of the breeze that's supposed to getting skimmed. Yeah. So this negative edge is in effect our skimmer for this pond and then we don't need a skimmer then. All the debris will sift through here and collect down there in the basin after going through this awesome waterfalls that we built on Friday. I literally can't wait to see that run. Okay, let's bring in the liner and start swinging in rocks.